Hi, Smart Home Sunday. My name's Paul. Today I'm tinkering with Home Assistant and I'm playing with the Mini Craft Card. Let's take a minute and I'll walk you through what I've found so far. Some pros, some cons. Um, and I'm trying to get a dashboard built that shows all of the power consumption of different appliances in the house and also gives me the ability to track the spot electricity price. Hmm, you might have seen this dashboard before. So this is the Nord Pool uh, data, but this is an Apex card chart. So I built here, now it normally would show tomorrow's electricity price, but it hasn't been auctioned yet. So that's why most of the day you'll see two graphs here. Now, if you want to install this mini graph card, go down to hacks, go to front end, and then you can just explore and download repositories and what you're going to do there is you're going to find mini right you'll find it there you just click on it and you install okay easy there it is it's installed uh, the one thing you need to do is you might need to like me add this line into your uh, configuration file and the way i do that for example is i go and click on here file editor now this is a very handy little tool you don't have to go into a back end to adjust your file you can just open it straight in home assistant so i recommend that one just also go and have a look in uh, adams for file editor you see here i've added this in here mini graph card it's pointing to the right file and then you'll be able to build a dashboard like this. Now, here is the price data. Uh, let's take a little look at what I adjusted in here. Very, very simple entity pointing to my Nord Pool sensor. And I just said, look, make it a, a bar graph. Because normally, by default, it looks like this. But then I want to start adding something in, like make it a bar graph and group the data by hour. And then you end up with something like that. Now this is quite nice, except there is a little problem. The pro on the plus side, the mini graph card, it looks nice. It looks elegant. You can get it to look quite nice and you can get it to do something useful very, very quickly. That's the pro. The con is it won't show any data in the future. Now, normally that's not a problem. For example, I can't really predict what the washing machine is going to use tomorrow because it hasn't run yet. But I can, however, know what tomorrow's electricity prices are. For example, if I go back to this graph, this is showing where we are right now and it shows the rest of the day. The future. The future data will not show in this mini graph card. Just won't happen because it's tightly integrated to use the history data from Home Assistant. And the Nord Pool sensor is showing future data. Uh, in fact, if I go and look at history and I bring up entity Nord Pool, I'll show you it just doesn't work even in the history data here. Look. Uh, there we go. Nothing beyond. Let's go and find. Do, 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 ta -da. There is nothing beyond the current moment. Through to 13th of September, nothing. Nothing. It's only showing me the current hour. So, history data in Home Assistant, it's not going to show me the future. It's history data, and neither will the mini graph card. So, I'll continue to use Apex charts to display future however this is quite nice here's a view here where i can see washing machine usage that's not bad there's a few little little things i don't like about this but uh, for example why I, I set if i go back into edit mode here i told the name of this to be washing machine but look when you mouse over some data it keeps changing it to the technical name uh, that's a bit funny hmm maybe I'm doing something wrong let me just go back to yeah it changes all the time and these data points look like a zero but I'm seeing 127 kilowatt hours now that 127 kilowatt hours is actually how much power the washing machine is used when I first put on the smart plug 
so it's not a super duper hungry power hungry washing machine it's just that the plug was put on a long time ago and well i haven't reset it but anyway my first impressions yeah the mini graph card could be useful the more i think about it and the more i find little bits and pieces that i'm not too happy with i'm thinking i should just dig deeper into apex charts so let's do some more of that next week apex charts could i display data from my influx db in an apex chart let's try that next week i'll see you then bye